So my name is Les Litwin. I'm the Technical Sales Director of Antrica. This is the new ANT37500 Spotbox 4K. It's the third generation of our uh, very popular multi-viewer, which can decode both OnViv and RTSP cameras and can display them in various modes on an HDMI monitor. The modes are one by one, two by two, three by three, and four by four. And there is a remote control that allows the operator to control those views. So let me just quickly run over the hardware. So the new Spotbox uh, 4K, which is the 37500 is here. Uh, it's in a metal case, aluminum metal case. As you can see, it's uh, very similar to a credit card size, just slightly bigger. Um, the connections on this side, which you can't see very well, but I'll just go over them. The first and most important is the power supply. This is a five volt USB-C connection, and this can be connected either to the uh, power supply, which we provide, or you can connect that to the back of a monitor and allow the monitor to power this device. Um, usually this device sits at the back of the monitor anyway. The second connection is an HDMI connection which goes to the monitor. This is capable of up to 4K, uh, 1080p, 720p, 4K and various other resolutions. The third connection is a Ethernet connection. And then the fourth connection here is a, which you can't see, this is basically a, a jack for audio. The device supports audio via the HDMI or analog audio. On the opposite side, there are two USB connections which are there for uh, functions to be decided in the future. Uh, currently, one of these is used for firmware upgrade purposes. The third connection on the, or third feature on the back here is a reset button. This button, <clears throat> when pressed, will allow the device to uh, do a power up reset or if pressed long enough, it will actually do a factory reset to default conditions. And then the fourth connection on the back is a micro SD card holder. This is used for firmware recovery when the firmware is completely corrupted. Uh, this will reinstall the firmware from scratch. So those are the main features on both sides. There are mounting holes on either side of the box, which can be used to mount this on the back of a monitor. And then the most obvious feature, which I haven't mentioned yet, is this uh, antenna, which is for Wi-Fi. So for the first time, we're introducing both wired and wireless Ethernet connections. Finally, we have a remote control. The remote is slightly different to the original remote in as much that there are no number buttons anymore. What we have introduced is an on-screen display, which allows the device to display a number of display options, such as one by one, two by two, etc., or individual cameras. And the operator can use the up and down buttons and the OK button to select which of these they wish to be displayed. So the remote in all other senses is the same as before. It can cycle through one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four by pressing the left and right buttons. Um, it can display the menu as I just mentioned. And by pressing the home button, you can actually force the de device to show its IP address, MAC address, and which firmware is installed. This is useful if you happen to lose the IP address, this will tell you exactly what's going on. And if the device is not connected to the network, it will show no ethernet. So that will also give you a clue as to where the problem is. So this is the new Spotbox 4K. It's the ANT37500 and is available now in small quantities. Volume production will start at the end of April, beginning of May, 2022. Thank you very much.